I think it brings visibility to our program, particularly in our community. And it also validates the amount of talent that we have at the Patriot League level and for our program in particular. I think it's an exciting opportunity for our students, the, the campus community, and also our surrounding communities now to engage with his experience for one more year because he's been such a special player. I mean, it was definitely a blessing to even be considered an NBA prospect. That means a lot to myself. You know, I've worked extremely hard for this, and uh, it was definitely something I wanted to explore. You know, by not hiring an agent, I, I led myself the opportunity to be able to come back, and uh, we, we decided that was best for me. Well, the process has changed a lot since last year. You know, the NCAA has made it so that underclassmen can't get workouts until, I believe, May 1st, and they put the deadline on the 11th. So that makes things uh, pretty difficult. But uh, besides that, it was, it was great feedback. You know, Coach Reed reached out to a lot of GMs after I declared. You know, I got feedback from the MBPA committee, and uh, uh, it's, it's comforting to know that you, you'll be able to have a chance to play in the NBA if everything goes well. So that was definitely good for, my, for me. It was important for me to establish early on with CJ that I was there to certainly help him. Whatever was best for CJ is what I wanted to be able to pursue for him, whether it was returning to Lehigh or chasing a, a dream that he had to play at the NBA level. Uh, either way, I was going to be happy for him and ultimately and would support him with, with whatever he decided. Now, my role in that was to listen to him, to be able to provide him feedback that I was able to gather from the NBA and league representatives and simply present that in an unbiased way so he could make the best decision possible. And fortunately for me, he allowed me to be part of that process. He trusted me through that process. And uh, I'm really appreciative that I could play a small role in helping him make his decision a decision ultimately that he would be comfortable with. I learned that I have a good shot at playing at the next level. You know, I just got to continue to work hard and I continue to to not get comfortable and put myself in a position to succeed. And I believe that our team will have a great chance at making a solid run next year. It was definitely a tough decision. Uh, had to weigh, you had to weigh everything out, you know, look, look at coming back. Uh, getting your degree is, is something that everybody has dreams of doing. And that was definitely big for me. You know, I want to get my degree for my parents and for myself to, to ensure that I would have a future outside of basketball. You know, that, was, that, was, that was huge. You know, my brother got his degree, and so he has something to fall back on in case he gets an, gets an injury or anything like that. And then the fact that my parents weren't able to get their degrees, I wanted to make sure that I did that because they didn't have an opportunity to. So I felt like I could use basketball in a sense that I, I could get the education. There would have been benefits either way for his decision. For him to enter the NBA draft and be drafted uh, at a fairly high level would have provided visibility for our program and the recognition, the amount of talent that we have at our league level and for our program as well. With him returning and another solid nucleus of players that are around him, uh, obviously the aspirations are high for next year um, and he will continue to have the chance to grow in his leadership, grow in his performance and his game and I know his teammates really support and value that. And One of the most interesting things that I think came out of this entire experience in this process was the understanding and the feel that I got from CJ that he really, really valued getting his degree from Lehigh and how important that was to him and what a wonderful experience he's had from a basketball standpoint. I knew that our team had a lot coming back. It's not like we're going we're gonna to face a down year next year. We have uh, a large amount of upperclassmen with Gabe Holden, you know, Mackey's maturing as a, as a point guard. So I feel like we're definitely going to be good and last year was helpful because everybody gained experience, including myself. So we'll be poised and ready for another run. Well, every team is different and there's no guarantee that one team will um, represent or mimic the, the efforts of the previous year, we'll lose some important catalysts to our team. We're going to need leadership growth from a lot of our different players. There's new roles and new opportunities that are present, presented as well. CJ has a chance to really become a more vocal and instrumental leader for our program, which he has continued to show that maturation. And I think with the nucleus of what we have in place and with CJ, uh, providing that type of leadership, I think there's a lot of reason to have great optimism going into next year. You know, college is the best time of your life. You know, this has been three of the best years I've ever experienced. Um, it's just fun. You know, just outside of basketball, like going to class, you like what you can get from it. You know, you, you learn every day. You know, writing papers and stuff, writing articles and things like that. You know, you, you're becoming a better person outside of uh, the careers you want to you want to choose. But I just think that Lehigh University has a lot to offer from me, and I just want to take advantage of everything.